Michael Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, champ. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel and the black shorts and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we looked up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white towel. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Mike Tyson. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight. That UFC championship belt. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Grace the Octagon, we are set to go for our main event of the evening. Our tale of the date for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. Herb Her Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. All right, here we go with round one, and we will see what Flex Pereira can provide for an encore. As any man or woman in UFC history vaulted to superstardom and the UFC Hall of Fame as quickly as this two-division champion, Alex Pereira, his heart and soul is the striking, best striker in this division, and a lot of power is going to be coming his opponent's way here tonight. All right, so a big early land by the boxer. He put a lot of steam on that one as he's able to get that hook home, DC. He lands it perfect. I mean, he throws it perfect. Right hand is always where it needs to be. If he throws it with the right, the left hand's always where it needs to be. It's tight, it's crisp, and it lands with a lot of power. Nice level change for the shot. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to 
start this fight. Any concern that the Taz might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now. Because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. All right, early round one action here, and somewhat surprising to see the boxer not check these leg kicks, right? He felt like it would be a factor in the fight, and the kickboxer was absolutely having his way early. It's always one thing to say what you're going to do, but to implement those things, to be able to do it against that guy is very difficult. And to this point, he has not been able to pick up on the leg kick. Leg kick lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Great block there. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Right hook to the head block. But ain't his cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Just misses there with the left. One, two punch by Tyson. Continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Pretty good straight punch there by Padeda. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Padeda's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Got that single collar tie. And doing work with the jab. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. All right, well, you can still attack the thigh. Right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's a traditional, it's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fight. Nice left punch by this guy. Gets back to his feet. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really starting to become a factor. Jim. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a. You heard him again. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? Now. Man, what a fight! So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. 15 seconds remain in the round. So the round is over, but not before right, damage right. was done. On, cut on the move cheek, move sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Get this again. We gotta set it up properly, okay? All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? 
Ready. Do All it. right, round two. Great block there. Finds a home for that left hook. So Iron Mike Tyson's eye is closing up. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, back and forth we go. Nice target change with an attack at the bottom. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage and it hurt. Yeah! in real trouble now. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time... Back to the feet! Oh, just opening up on him now. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and kick your time. He's right for the pick. He's now going to pick the fruit. <laughs> well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Trading huge shot to see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, nice counter jab there. Tyson's eye looks so swollen now, you've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital. Just over two minutes to go in round two. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's gonna continue. And that will do it! Alex Pereira has done it again! Oh my goodness. Here we go inside the Octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is calling a stop to this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. All right, so it goes into the books as a clean knockout. No T required for Alex Pereira. Just another highlight to add to the reel. Massive power displayed by Pereira. When you play with fire, when you fight in this guy, he is going to put your lights out. That's exactly what we saw tonight.